Always find what you love at Total Wine and More. With so many great bottles to choose from at the lowest price, it's easy to find your favorite Cabernet or a new single barrel bourbon to try with some help from one of their friendly guides. And with every bottle comes the confidence of knowing you just found something amazing. With the lowest prices for over 30 years, find what you love and love what you find only at Total Wine and More. Curbside pickup and delivery available in most areas. Visit TotalWine.com to learn more. Spirits not sold in Virginia, North Carolina. Drink responsibly and be 21. Welcome back to another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're taking a look at a legacy that was left behind by one of the people that has been a great friend of the show for a very long time, Dixon Deadman, who helped revitalize Kentucky Owl, was then repurchased, or should I just say purchased by Stoli, and now they've got um, a few different other people sort of at the helm, but this is their latest release of what's coming from them, and this is the Kentucky Owl, the Wiseman. So this is a blend of Kentucky Owl four-year wheat and high rye bourbons along that were actually made in partnership with Bardstown Bourbon Company, along with a five and a half and eight and a half year old Kentucky sourced bourbon. So this is putting the bottle at 90.8 proof, has a $60 price point, and will be available at nationwide at select retailers this year. Yeah, and then they just announced that Dave Mendel is going to take over and build this huge, you know, the park's coming. The park, the quarry is going to finally not be a quarry. I'm still, I'm still interested. I, they, they had renderings at one point way back in the day that they were going to have their barrel, ho- barrel houses shaped as pyramids. But then I saw another rendering that just looked like regular standard barrel warehouses. So we'll see what actually happens when construction breaks. Yeah, they probably got wise and uh, <laughs> thought pyramids would be uh, not the best shape to uh, store barrels. <laughs> Hence the wise man. Bourbon. That's right. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and dive in with the nose here. I mean, it's got a lot of good characteristics of a just bourbon. I mean, there's caramel, there's vanilla. Yeah, I'm just, all, I'm, I'm really just getting a, a lot of baking spices, like yep. mulling spices, like apple cider or something, kind of almost. I can kind of see the apple cider, a little bit of cinnamon in there. Yep. All right, then on to the taste. Or some brown sugar, or some honey. Easy drinker, um, just easy yeah. drinker. Most part, and then some of those baking spices kind of open up. There's a slight like, uh, like herbal aromatic flavor that I'm kind of getting towards the back end. But mm-hmm. uh, for me, mostly brown sugar and honey kind of on this, and really delicate. Yes, I, I agree, and I think uh, you get most of those flavors in the front of your palate on the back. Sorry, on the back on the finish. It does sort of like tail off a little bit, and maybe that's where the 90 proof aspect comes in, but probably why they're trying to go mass market and make it an everyday drinker. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, rate it. So on the nose, where you at here? Uh, sideways thumbs. I mean, there's some good things, but nothing, you know, over overwhelming. Overwhelming, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. And on the taste? Same, sideways. I mean... Oh, I would have gone almost thumbs up on it, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I, there's some good notes there. It's kind of middle of the road for me, but... uh. Yeah, I think I just want some a little bit more out of it. I understand. Yep. And on the finish, where are you at here? Sideways. I think this is just... I agree with the sideways. I think this is just an all-around good daily drinker. I think that's where I would put it at. Yep. Well, who knows? Maybe when they start putting those barrels inside of pyramids, we'll see some <laughs> We'll see some shifts and change on, on Ryan's rating here. That's right. Getting the, then getting the where, you know, the, the mummies are. Where, uh... <laughs> oh, what a, what a great movie. Whatever happened to Brett? Whatever happened to Brendan Fraser? Yeah. Who knows? He's <laughs> aging somewhere. <laughs> All right. With that, cheers, everybody. That's our review for the Kentucky Owl Wiseman. We'll see you all next time.